गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर सेफ एंड यू आर डूइंग योर वर्क बेटा दिस लेक्चर विल बी इन द कॉन्टिन्यूशन ऑफ द सेम चैप्टर इंडस्ट्रियल रेवोल्यूशन बेटा टिल नाउ वी हैव रेड अबाउट द कोल एंड आयरन इंडस्ट्री वी रेड अबाउट द केनाल एंड रेलवेज एंड बेटा टूडे वी विल रीड अबाउट द चेंज इन द लाइफ ऑफ द वर्कर्स दैट हाउ द लाइफ ऑफ द वर्कर्स वॉज चेंज आफ्टर द कमेंसमेंट ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन लाइक इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर ऑल्सो आई टोल्ड यू दैट इन दोज टेक्सटाइल इंडस्ट्री वुमेन दे यूज टू वर्क एज अ स्पिंस्टर राइट सो नाउ सो मेनी इंडस्ट्रीज वर सेटअप सो नाउ द नंबर ऑफ वुमेन वर्कर्स ऑल्सो इंक्रीज एंड इन द सेम वे चिल्ड्रन वर ऑल्सो यूज टू वर्क इन द सेम इंडस्ट्रीज और फैक्ट्रीज एंड now those people they were moving towards the cities as the development of cities it could not uh, uh, pace with the industrialization do not, do, uh, it did not cop up with the industrialization that is why these women and children they are to face very poor working condition and this way also their life was changed so the today topic is the change lives बेटा देर वर सो मेनी रिच इंडिविजुअल्स बेटा जो इंडस्ट्री सेटअप की गई थी दोज वर सेटअप बाय द रिच इंडिविजुअल्स और मेन मोटिव टू सेटअप इंडस्ट्री वॉज जस्ट टू मेक देयर मनी डबल दे जस्ट वॉन्ट टू अर्न द मनी सो इन दैट केस इवन आफ्टर इंडस्ट्रियाइजेशन मनी डिडेंट मल्टीप्लाई बट वॉट हैपन but the wealth in the form of goods incomes services knowledge and productive efficiency increased a lot so at the same time there was a negative human cost also all these things increased beta if we are gaining something it means we are losing something also and that was at the cost of the negative human cost it means the human beings they are to face a lot of problem now what are the problem that faced by the workers those were the broken families like people they were moving from uh, the villages to cities so the families were broken new addresses were there degraded cities were there because beta urbanization was there new cities were developing but those cities uh, they were not able to provide the basic facilities to its public and even the uh, working conditions of the factories those were also very poor so do you know beta uh, in england the number of cities number of cities which have the uh, population more than 50000 it grew from 2 to 29 till 1850 so this was so so prominent impact of industrialization it means the people were moving towards the cities and even in the cities there was not adequate provision of housing sanitation or clean water and urban population was increasing even the new comers whosoever new migrants were there they are they are forced to live in the overcrowded slums slums hote hain beta jo jhuggi jhopdi jo kacche houses bane hote hain abhi aapne maharashtra mein bhi padha hoga ki maharashtra ka jo wahan pe bhi slum hai dharavi so now new migrants they are to live in overcrowded slums and those slums were so congested so even jo uh, rich people they escape to even visit those areas so what they did those rich people they just shifted to the semi urban area just to get the clean air and the safe water to drink but these poor people these workers they didn't had this option so beta this way life of the worker was changed like earlier they were living in a very uh, good environment in their villages but now in the cities they are they are forced to live in overcrowded slums now the beta the next topic is about the workers beta do you know just because of this poor working condition the life expectancy of especially workers who were working in the factories it became very low like it is given that their life expectancy in birbingham was only 15 years 
in manchester it was 17 years and in derby it was 21 and it was there was a huge gap if we compare the life expectancy of the worker with the other social categories so people uh, if the life expectancy is low it means the more people they died in a very younger age so that is why and even half of the children how many children uh, born half of the children they died under the age of five and side by side we have uh, read that that there was the increase in population in the cities but uh, this increase was not due to the birth rate this increase was due to the migration and even uh, what was the main cause of these deaths with uh, these uh, behind these deaths the cause was epidemics epidemics like pol polluted water cholera typhoid or tuberculosis and even do you know that 31000 people died from an outbreak of cholera in 1832 don't you think it is a very large number and even in the late 19th century municipal authorities were negligent in attending to these dangerous conditions and even people they don't have any medical knowledge to understand and cure these diseases because at that time these diseases were unknown to them these diseases were new to them now beta the next topic is about the women children and industrialization that how women and children they uh, have a very important role in the process of industrialization the industrial revolution was a time of important change and the children and women work in the factories and do you know that these children they were they belong to the rural poor area and they they always actually they were in the habit of doing work they used to work at their home in the farm or but that work was under the supervision of their parents but here in factories no one was there to supervise them and even the females also they all they were also very active participants in their household work or in their field work and even they were very expert in the spinning yarn also like we read in previous uh, topic but the work in factories the continuous long hours means they have to work for 12 to 15 hours so these continuous hours and work under strong discipline and even sometimes they get the very harsh punishment also so the scenario was totally different earlier they were doing work for themselves in their field uh, at their home but now they they were doing work in their factories and even the earning of uh, women and children it was also necessary because the income of the workers was meager it, it was very little bahut kam earning thi unki so it was very difficult to run the uh, regular expenses of the family that is why jo ye women or children the they supported their male persons and even at that time the use of machinery also spread jaise ki humne padha tha so many inventions were there spinning jenny water frame and do you know that all these machines those were run by the um, women and children only so beta and they are to uh, and even these women and children they didn't protest for the poor working conditions so they were these women and children they were employed at a very large number in the industry and women they were also the main workforce in the silk lace making and knitting industries and machinery like the cotton spinning jenny and it was designed jo iska design tha it was more suitable for the child workers because children they have a small build unki jo body size hota hai wo lean hota hai so that is why and even uh, between the machines jo space choda jata tha that was very less so that more machines can be adjusted in a particular area so that is why these uh, machines these are more suitable for the child labor but uh, there was sometime there was mishappening with the children also how sometime their hair were uh, there in the machines and sometime their hands were crushed and that is why even uh, on sundays also these workers were called just to just for the cleaning of the machines or just for the maintenance work 
सो दिस वे बेटा दिस इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन दैट वॉज वेरी मच एग्जॉस्टिव फॉर द वुमेन एज वेल एज फॉर द चाइल्ड वर्कर्स एंड दिस वे लाइफ ऑफ द पीपल लाइफ ऑफ द वुमेन एंड वर्कर चेंज द लॉट जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इन ब्रिटेन सो बेटा दिस वॉज द टॉपिक फॉर टूडे होप ऑल ऑफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड द टॉपिक थैंक यू एंड हैव अ नाइस डे